So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P1335 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P1335 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor circuit fault. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing and it's seen air inside of this. So I have to be troubleshooting a why. And some of the possible causes, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring, could be the harness is not plugged in all the way good and it could possibly be a fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to locate the crankshaft position sensor. And there could be some slight differences between the Toyotas, but it'll be located down by the crankshaft at the bottom of the engine somewhere. And there can be some slight differences uh, like this 2008 Toyota Tundra. This is behind a little plate right here that was covering this and you have to remove that to get to the crankshaft position sensor. But first thing to do is locate it on your particular Toyota. And then once you do, the first thing you want to do is you want to check out this wiring harness. And in older Toyotas, they had two wires going to it. And inside of newer ones, they have three wires. And this is the most common is three wires. You always want to get a schematic for your particular Toyota to know for sure what's going on. Three wires is very common. And what's going on with these is, is the middle one, you'll have a ground and then you have power come from the battery when the, when the key's in the on position. And then you have a signal wire going back to the onboard computer. And every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of the sensor, it'll send five volts back to the onboard computer and it'll know the location of the teeth on the crankshaft as it spins. And so to test out the wiring, you could check the ground is good. Check from the ground to the power. And when the key's in the on position, you should be getting voltage coming from the battery. If you're not getting no voltage, then you want to check the fuses because very likely a fuse is blown. There's a fuse on this circuit. So you want to go and check that. Uh, again, it could be different depending on the Toyota, what they're called. It'll be like EFI or AM2, AM1, ECU. It'll be inside the engine compartment. There'll be a fuse in there and it'll that'll be on this circuit and if it blows then it could cause an issue if you are getting power then there's no issue there with the fuse and the next thing would be to check the signal wire going back and there's different ways you could do that you could do it with continuity some techs will take a known good sensor they'll attach it to put the key in the on position and they'll go from the ground wire to the signal wire with the multimeter and when they put a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor they'll get a voltage you'll get five volts going back to the onboard computer so there's some videos on that if you want to check it out more but the next thing to do would be to check out the wiring and be sure there's no blowing fuses and so if that all looks good then very likely you're going to need to replace this crankshaft position sensor and they're low cost parts i'll jump over on amazon give you an idea what they're costing right now they're ranging around 20 30 dollars there's one for 13 so they're not high cost parts or anything you can't test these if you wanted to so you don't have to buy a new one you could test it there's different ways you could do that again there's some videos on that if you want to check that out but most people would go ahead and replace it and replacing one of these uh, sometimes they could be relatively easy and then other times they could be a little more difficult mainly just the location the sensor itself is usually easy to replace and so they'll just have like one bolt holding it in they just pop out and pop back in and they have the harness sometimes they could be kind of awkwardly located they'll have other components in the way it just varies from toyota to toyota so you have to look and see what's going on with your particular toyota to know for sure what's going on and so what do you do with the toyota that has a p1335 code well first thing to do locate that crankshaft position sensor which would be down at the bottom of the engine around the crankshaft somewhere. Sometimes it could be to the right, sometimes to the left, sometimes behind little covers. But first thing to do is to locate that. Once you locate it, check out the wiring harness. Be sure it's plugged in all the way good. Be sure there's no any issues going on there because any open short, anything like that could cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So you want to check that out. And if that all looks good, then very likely that sensor will need to be replaced. You can test it if you wanted to. Most people go ahead and replace it. And once you check all that, that usually will solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P1335 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.